morning, Home the Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Kiana. And I'm Spencer. Today is Friday, December 16, 2011. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch menu choices are choice of one, corn dog or beefaroni. Choice of two, canned carrots, garden salad, and assorted fruit. Salad choice, chef. And with the WCSS Daily Weather Report, here's Emily. Currently, today is a high of 78 and a low of 54 with 10% chance of rain. In the southwest, northwest, and northeast, we have wind advisories. In the central and east central, we have flood warnings. And now for the radar map. In Kentucky, Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, we have rain. In North Dakota and South Dakota, we have snow. Now back to our anchors. And our Beefo Brady's winner for the month of December is... Mrs. Orlando's class. Congratulations on your fourth win in a row for Beefo Brady's Spirit Night, guys. Great job. Blue Pops are today, Connelly Yellow Jackets. And class picture retakes are also taking place today, teachers. Let's take the sports up to speed with Taylor, Mark, and Reed. Welcome to today's edition of Sports of Speed. I'm Taylor. I'm Reed. And I'm Mark. In college football, LSU and Alabama are going into the national championship. I am really going for LSU because I think Alabama has won way too many. They have won so far 13 national championships, which is more than any other team. I do not really like Alabama at all, also because I am a Gator fan. Plus, I like LSU better than Alabama altogether, so I'm definitely not going to change my mind about that. But the chances of Alabama are going to be about 40 to 50 percent. In the NFL, the Atlanta Falcons beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 41 to 14. Matt Ryan had 224 yards and three touchdowns. It was a blowout. Blaine Gabbard had 141 yards, two fumbles, a touchdown, and an interception. I knew the Falcons would win. Adding on to what Mark had said, Alabama will face LSU in the national championship. As unlike Mark, I think Alabama will win. There's no way LSU can beat Alabama a second time in a row. Not after almost losing to them. Not, no, it's not that. They can't win twice in a row like that. It's not possible. I think Alabama will win. The chances are just too high. That's all for today's edition of Sports Up to Speed. Let's take it back to the studio with Kiana and Spencer. Next Wednesday is our Jingle Buds Jog Yellow Jackets. To get your spirit on, hear a song by our fourth and fifth grade chorus.
Hollywood Buzz with Lily and Ariana. I'm Ariana. And I'm Lily. And welcome to Hollywood. Hey Lily, have you heard that there's a lot of new Christmas songs coming out next year? Yeah, I got my inspiration from the Hollywood Buzz magazine. I totally can't wait to 2012. Totally, but it's right around the corner though. Well, I know some new Christmas songs. I definitely know one that's by Maria Aragon. What is it? Is it Jingle Bells? No, it's a commercial song. What is it that I really want to know? It's Okay, it's I Want Candy. Come and talk to the media center and claim your item. Now for this day in history. First day in history. <laughs> On this day in history, December 16, 1773, the Boston Tea Party took place as American colonists boarded a British ship and dumped more than 300 chests of tea overboard to protest tea taxes. It was one of the events that led to the American Revolution. Also, on this day in 1901, Margaret Mead was born. She was a scientist who studied human behavior. She's best known for her research studies of the South Pacific. She first went there when she was 23 years old. The resulting book, Coming of Age in Samoa, was and remains a bestseller to this day. And on this day in 2000, President-elect George W. Bush selected Colin Powell to become the first African-American Secretary of State. Secretary Powell was a professional soldier for 35 years. His last assignment, from 1989 to 1993, was as the 12th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest military position in the U.S. Department of Defense. That's all for today, Calm the Yellow Jackets. Remember our motto. Make the most of every minute. And we'll see you next week.